Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be answering a pretty common question I get from you guys and that is, how did I start photography? Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped and upside down. Now I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, I'll tell you how I started photography and ended up here. That was good, okay that was good. I know the rest of the song by the way, like I really could have sang the whole thing. <laughs> So before we begin the video and you guys really get to know me, <laughs> this video is brought to you guys by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, a website, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace. They have award-winning designer templates, they have really great customer service, uh, someone's available 24-7 if you ever have any issues. Even if you're not a photographer, if you're a designer or you want your own online store, you can also check Squarespace out. There's pretty, there's something for everybody. <laughs> so you can start your free trial today. You just have to go to squarespace.com and then put offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase. Link's gonna be in the description for more information. Let's get going into the video. So a very common question I get from you guys is how I started photography. Really like what led me to where I am today? Like how did I get here? Like even I wanna know. Even through making this video, I'll be like, wow, really? So that's why I'm making this. Now, I don't know if many of you know, but I was graphic designing before I started photography and I did that for way longer than I ever did photography. Uh, I started designing around the age of 12. A friend of mine in my neighborhood showed me this website called neopets.com and I was obsessed with it within the first, you know, couple, like the first week I was hooked on neopets. Hooked, hooked on neopets.com, okay? So I was learning all there was to know about neopets and a very big part about that website was a thing called guilds. And they were like little, I don't even know how to explain it. It was like you made like your own group or like little area for you and then people would join it. I know that's probably a really non-sophisticated way of explaining it, but... I would make a guild and you know I would have random people join as members and that was a big part of Neopets and that was a big part of my Neopet experience. And a lot of the guilds had cool layouts, they had graphics, they had typography and logos and stuff like that. So when I first stumbled upon guilds, I really was really fascinated by them and I wanted to know how to make one, I wanted to know how to make my own designs for my guild. So it became obsessive to me to figure out like the coding and the logos and all that stuff. So I remember making my first uh, JPEG logo and I actually had no idea how to make one. I, would, I was researching a lot and I was so proud of myself after I did like my first logo. That was like the, the pinnacle of my life on Neopet. Like, oh, I made a logo. So after that, it was just nonstop learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, anything I could add to make my guild look cool. Like, do you guys remember, you guys remember the, that marquee text that would like sh slide, you know, like just show up randomly? Like, I loved that stuff. And it just, it, guilds were like this lifestyle. I don't, I don't even know. It was like the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know. <laughs> there was the drama and then there was the clicks and it was really quite an experience. And throughout my, my time on Neopets, I actually became pretty well known uh, through my guilds. And, um, I don't, I don't even know how. And, and I progressed with my graphic designing. Again, I was still like learning. My dad actually bought me a, a Jask Paint Shop Pro 8. And that is when I had my first uh, like designing program. So I was super excited. I could actually make more professional looking graphics. So I started doing the photo manipulation and the collages because those were a big thing on Neopets. And a lot of that photo manipulation that I was doing, I would use scans from fashion magazines and that was like a big thing on on the internet back in the early 2000s they had uh live journals with fashion scans and i would scour the internet for these live journals there was actually a couple of big ones the names escape me right now but i would use those in my work and they were like vogue and harper's harper's bazaar and nylon every time i had a i was making a layout i would always use those scans for my work and it never really occurred to me 
that I was, it was like a subconscious thing. I was using fashion in my work at an early age, but I was never interested in photography. People were looking at my graphics and asking me, how did you make this layout? How did you do this text effect? And so at the age of 15, I actually got my first website. I think it was 14 when I got a hosted website, you know, like a slash, blah, 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 blah. So someone hosted me for a couple of months and then I decided to just get my own website. I got a .net, so my website was swimchick.net and that website, it, it just has a lot of memories in it. I would write daily blogs about my life and all the crazy stuff that happened and I really liked writing and I, I don't know, I laughed at my own blogs. I thought they were funny. <laughs> And the website did very well. It was, you know, pretty popular. And I started making those tu the tutorials on there. I had resources, like I made my own textures. I made brush packs for people to use. I would literally have, I would literally like get ink from stores and use them on uh, computer paper, printer paper, and then scan them and make them into brushes for people to use and then offer them for free for people to use. So it just became something so normal and natural for me to just be helping out people and providing those resources. So um, fast forward to when I went to college, you know, I, I wasn't able to put a lot of work into my website and people had gotten older by then and I feel like the Neopets craze kind of died down. So, you know, and, and the thing is, I didn't even know what I wanted to go into. I remember there was a teacher, an art teacher, and I wasn't even like a bad student. I just think, you know, in high school, like you, there's just some, some situations that you get caught up in. Well, I had to stay after school. I got in detention a couple times. Um, a teacher had an issue with me in art, art class. And you know, I asked other people in that class and I was like, was I bad? Like, I don't remember doing anything. And they were like, no, that teacher was just kind of Maybe she was just having a bad day. So, I mean, they were, told me I was pretty quiet. I was, I was very quiet in high school, okay? Like, I wasn't putting myself out. I was like the artsy, quiet type, and I didn't like confrontation or fights. But anyways, this teacher, after I, you know, had detention with her, I had to do um, some, I had to, like, help her in her classroom after school as part of my punishment. <laughs> so I, be, I got a little close to her. She was the art teacher at the time. And um, I will never forget, you know, it was like a week or two before graduation when I was graduating high school. And she's like, do you know, do you know what you're going to be doing for college or do you know where you're going? And I was like, no, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll be a veterinarian and I'll do something with forensics because I really like forensic, uh, forensic files and stuff like that, the, those shows. And um, she's like, well, have you ever thought about going to art school? And I was like, see, the thing is, like, I knew that I love to design. I've been designing. I was designing for for years and years, you know, prior to that. But it had never clicked in my head, like, oh, I can make, I can do this as a job. Like, it had never occurred to me because I'm stupid. <laughs> so she was telling me, like, oh, check out this art college. So she gave me um, this brochure about this art college. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I could check this place out and that was the first time I actually considered graphic designing as an actual career I was like oh my god why didn't I think of this sooner you know it's like the post-it like why didn't why didn't I think of that or the toaster that's a great I love toast so it's like kind of like why didn't I think of that so after that I enrolled in college art college and I went to take on a bachelor's degree in graphic design. Again, I had never thought about photography, like for, like never even thought twice. And actually, you know what's funny? Every day walking to my design classes, I would walk past the photography hallway and I would see everyone's um, like photos hung up on the wall, the black and white stuff. And I would be like, oh my God, that's so weird. Like what is, what's going on here? You know, I'd be like, I don't understand photography. I kind of just didn't even think about it. I was like, okay, photography is weird. What's that about? You know, I'm, a, I'm the graphic design department because they split us up and I hated that. I hated that they split us up. I just, I don't know. I was just like being a hater, which is funny because um, a year or two later, I was on Facebook and you know how people in your city 
when you reach a point in your life. So you see everyone getting married, getting engaged, baby pictures, you know, uh, party pictures, like bridal shower stuff. So you would see like just a overload of all these galleries coming up on your timeline. I was looking through them and a photographer had posted like this wedding session that he'd done. And I was like, hey, with that, you know, okay, that's, w wow, I could probably do something like that. You know, like the photography stuff. And I was like, I could probably come up with something really cool if I tried to do that. So it just came, it just became me thinking like, okay, what if I did this? And the thing is, I loved to edit pictures. I loved Photoshop. I had been using Photoshop for years. I had switched from PaintShop Pro to Photoshop by then. And I, I loved retouching and photo editing and coloring pictures because that's why I had done on Neopets. That was my whole thing, you know, adding colors and, and effects and stuff. So I was like, hey, I would love to do this. Sounds so much fun. But the thing with me is I'm not trying to edit someone else's picture. I don't, I don't want to deal with any more people. Like, the less people have to deal with, the better. Okay, I don't want to have to socialize or look somebody in the eye. So, I, I knew that if I wanted to do this, I would have to take my own pictures. So, it just kind of became this thing where I was like, okay. So, if I, if I just take a couple of pictures, I could just edit them myself. I don't have to worry about a middleman or anything. I could just deal with myself directly. I could just hate on myself. I saved up for my first camera. And I just started taking pictures after that. And I was in the middle of my college years by then. And um, I remember a lot of my class had MacBooks. Actually, I think, actually, no, everyone at the college, let's just say everybody, had a MacBook but me. And it wasn't like a big deal to me, but I really felt like, I mean, I, like, I honestly, like, I couldn't afford one. So. I was like the only person who didn't have one. I would go and use the school computers. So um, that was like my next uh, big investment. You know, I, know, I knew I needed a computer, a good computer for artsy stuff. And a lot of the, the courses that we had, we, uh, everything, every, all the professors and everything used Mac. So um, I knew that with my camera, I would have to buy like a good solid computer and the programs to go with it to really you know, pull everything together. So um, after that, I saved up. I saved up for like a year and a half for a new computer. And uh, starting my junior year, I got my first MacBook, which was really cool because, you know, I earned it myself. And um, not to say that no one else did, but it was just, just it took me a while to save up for the camera and then the computer. So um, yeah, don't think this was like, you know, like I got my my black Amex and I'm swiping and I'm buying and I get a bill in the mail for $70,000 because I somehow bought something, that one item, like an apple with dipped in gold worth $50,000. <laughs> so after that, I it was a non-stop learning. I mean, I was literally obsessed. I became obsessed with learning about photography. I re like learned up. I, I learned up. <laughs> I researched re uh, retouching and photo editing, and I really had to start from scratch because I knew nothing about photography. Take any random person on the street that doesn't like photography, and then give them a camera and say, "Hey, you have a week to learn." That was me. That's how I felt like my life was. So I was on a mission to learn everything I possibly could and it was so much fun for me because I love to retouch and color and I already knew how to use Photoshop which actually worked in, in my benefit. So I just kept reaching out to people. I asked my friends to model for me. I asked my siblings to model for me. I would literally take pictures of anything, go, go back home and pull the pictures up and start retouching and start editing and you know just trying new things and just working non-stop this was a non-stop effort i um i bought photography books but um and i would share those with you guys but i they were uh destroyed in the flood that happened along with my camera equipment a couple of years ago and i wanted to make a video on that but I did, throughout this journey, I just felt like so many things happened that could have prevented me from, from doing this, but I never let anything get to me. And I just kept on going. I'm like, I'm not going to let anything let me quit. Nothing is going to deter me from, from pursuing this. So 
I, I really feel like Neopets was such a huge part of my life and a website like that. You, you, some people go on what little websites like that when they're growing up and it, maybe that's just their, their experience and it, you know, it, that's all that they did just went on the website. But really for me, this website changed my life. So I owe a lot to Neopets and even my old friends on there, you know, I try to stay in touch with them and I don't know, I just feel like it never... I'm the type of person, like, I really do want to keep in touch with people. Like, my friendships really do mean something. I'm not the type of person, like, okay, okay, we got older, bye. Like, I actually care about people. And I feel like even though we get older, we still have those things in common. But I also understand, you know, things change and you can't hold on to somebody forever. So should I let people go? I'm like, bye. Enjoy your life without me. So I that's just a part of my life that... I've learned to leave it behind, but I will, it's, I will never forget the impact that it's had on me. And I will always give credit to Neopets for kind of shaping the way that I think and everything. And all the people that I've met throughout my journey, I just, if you guys are even watching this and you knew me from Neopets, like, hello, <laughs> first of all. And... Just know that I miss you guys and I think of you guys. So that is really the the core of my journey and just me being on like message boards were such a big thing early 2000s, like limelight.com. I, I mean my own message board. I mean, these little things just, I feel like the things that you never thought would impact you, ha like later on you're like, wow, that really did, it connects, everything just connects with each other. So yeah, I this is how I got here. And I mean, most of it is just really hard work. So now looking back on it, I think it was just a crazy journey. There was a lot of drama, mind you guys. There was so much drama, but it's made me, it's made me really tough and really strong. I mean, when people, write hate comments towards me or comments um not liking my work like negative stuff i'm just kind of like okay I, gr I grew up on that okay i've been getting those since i was 13 so it's just something that i've just learned to deal with and even when i was 15 i mean i was i was bullied in middle school and and on on the internet and it's you know you just learn to to deal with it and you become stronger because of it one thing I really want to emphasize is that I honestly did not receive a lot of help from people, both financially and, you know, in the aspect of my learning. It, I was kind of a lone wolf starting out. I didn't really know anything about photography. And, you know, sometimes when you reach out to people, sometimes, you know, they don't get back to you or just people have ulterior motives so I felt like I really had to teach myself everything there is to know I had to start trusting myself more and depending on myself I really depend on myself a lot and I still do you know I feel like if I want something done right I will do it myself but yeah that was my experience on the internet really I was on the internet a lot I was always on the computer and I know some people had comments about it oh you're always on the computer and you're always watching TV or you're always playing video games. That was my life. My life was the computer, video games, everything on, on the internet. And I mean, I played sports. I feel like I was pretty well-rounded, but again, I was just, I felt like when I was on Neopets and I was on, you know, doing the website stuff and I was teaching myself how to code, I really became obsessed with it. So that this is where my obsession has got me now. <laughs> Still obsessed, by the way. I'd rather be obsessed with photography than other things, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I started when I was 12 years old, and now I'm 28. So, yeah, art has been a really big part of my life. I mean, honestly, I can't remember a time without it, except, you know, except when I was born, because I can't remember any of that, and then a couple years after. So, that is my journey and how I started photography. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have any questions, or if you guys want me to talk about something else. I'm here. I'm not doing anything. It's snowing out. It's really ugly outside. So I'm not leaving the house. So I'm going to be here. So just, yeah, send me a DM or something. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you for watching.